there are so many ways of exploring and different ways of exploring that it appears very difficult for me to identify key abilities that apply to everyone. What I can tell from my experience is that there are probably three things that come to my mind right away. And the first and most obvious one is, of course, curiosity. Because if you are curious in something and it sparks your interest, that gets you going in the very first place. Now, more often than not, when you pursue something, you find obstacles. It's not going the way that one has expected to begin with. And so the next key ingredient, for me at least, was persistence. To not lose track of uh, where you wanted to go and what your interest was. But then, and this is probably the most important one, openness. Because it may happen that while you are pursuing what, you, what was your interest the first time, you identify other things that initially are interesting and may even become in the end more interesting to you than the initial goal that you have set yourself. So curiosity, persistence and not the least definitely openness. Life is an exploration in itself. The key question that we all face, not all at the same time, but everyone, I am convinced of that during one phase in our life, is who am I? Where did I come from? Where will I go? And these are questions that do not have a definite answer, like you can check off in the checkbox. It's, life is an exploration to answer this question. It was not an emotional moment. Uh, I also recall to see this blue planet for the first time in space, and it was not an emotional moment at all. Just because it was unexpected, it was not right away emotional. Um, this may have come a little bit later when you saw it at another point in time. A much, much more emotional moment for me in space was, it was roughly flight day seven, eight, so everything was rolling. Things went extremely well on our mission. And it was the time where we had to relax a little bit, at least. And I remember very well, we came across the Atlantic Ocean. It was night, uh, so it was pitch black. And we came over uh, France, and France was covered in a cloud uh, layer. Now, you can't see clouds by night, but what you can see is the cities by night. And the cloud layer must have been very thick in the northern part of France because we didn't see Paris. But as we came more and more to the south, uh, you saw uh, the light of the cities shimmering through just like pearls. It, it was marvelous. And we crossed the Alps and no clouds at all. You see Italy, the booth of Italy, it was just as if they had illuminated for us. It was unbelievable against the black backdrop of the Mediterranean. And while I was still looking in awe, uh, we approached Libya and then this band of light just shows up over the horizon. And I asked Janet next to me, what is that? And it was the Nile River. Now, the river is obviously not illuminated, but the cities and the villages along, its, uh, along the path of the river showed where the river are. And at that moment, I asked myself, why are you up here right now? And the first answer uh, that comes to your mind is wrong. You think, oh, you have done a great job. Yes, you hopefully have done a great job, but that's not the, 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 the answer to the question. And it is also uh, not the appropriate answer that the engineers and technicians who have put together this 
shuttle, this rocket that put you up there, are the ones who brought you up there. That person who had the first thought and was dreaming about traveling to the stars and asked the question, what would it be to be amongst the stars? That was when the idea of travel into space was born. And as Friedrich Dürrenmatt wrote in his piece, Die Physiker, every thought that has been, uh, that has been thought cannot be taken back. I wish I could meet that person. Well, if, if you ask uh, astronauts what was the most fascinating uh, sight when you were up there, I think most of them will tell you that it was uh, to, to view uh, the Earth. For me, it was different. It was indeed to turn away from the Earth and uh, at best at night time so that you have absolutely no uh, uh, reflection uh, from the Earth also inside the shuttle cockpit. And the blackness of space is a new black. It's, uh, you, you would have to invent actually another word for that type of blackness. And Reinhard Furrer, uh, the late German astronaut, called it in German die glitzernde Schwärze des Weltalls, and uh, the, the glittering blackness of space. And th that, was, that was really emotional, and it makes me even emotional right now when I think about it. I can really feel that sensation again, and it, it had a sense of home. It was not something that scared me, and I asked myself, what is there? Uh, it, 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 it felt like I belong there. It was home. This is where I belong, and maybe that is the space where we all will go at one point in time. Well, the, uh, when, when I still put myself up there, I, I didn't feel connected to the Earth at all, as strange as it sounds. We, we, we were, of course, still attached to it because we were, circula we were still in the gravity field of the Earth and we were not leaving it. Um, but still, the, the planet could have been anywhere. I was connected though with the people. And that was very strange. Uh, and I cannot explain it uh, better than that. It was just how I felt it. Well, the, the sensation of being weightless uh, is completely new and it is again one of these uh, surprises uh, that exploration offers you. Uh, unexpected. I didn't think about it before. Yes, I was told you are weightless and things are difficult, a little bit more difficult because you have to attach everything very carefully. But I very quickly learned that it helps in many ways if you exchange just the lens of a camera, you take the old one off, you leave it there, you take the new one and put it on, and then you, you stow the other one. Uh, it's not working like here. On the other hand, you cannot put it down and it remains where you have just put it down if you not attach it very carefully. But these things you can adjust to very quickly. One thing that was indeed stunning is that you literally experience uh, that you can change your perspective by just turning around. It, it must not necessarily be upside down. It can be any angle that is necessary right now and you are in a new room. And it happened even that I uh, once asked myself, where am I here? Because inadvertently I had an uh, orientation which I took by accident. It was not intended to take that one. And for a moment I had to reorient myself. But the positive thing is you can use it to your advantage. And it's a, 
It's a sign that if you change your perspective, you see all of the certain things that you may not have seen before and you experience things differently. And that is often very helpful.